Screw Blind Wave. I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back with the Bad Batch, where last time on... What happened? Uh, Ruff and Trace they, made a reappearance. Yeah, they did. The Martez yeah. sisters. They went to a, uh, a place where you would decommission droids. Those droids were commissioned once more. but perhaps. They were recommissioned. They were recommissioned. Absolutely. Kind of zombie-like, but it was a fun episode. I enjoyed it, uh, but at the end, Rafa and Trace told R7, I think, to, I don't know, it looked different, to uh, contact someone or him, and we were wondering who that was, and we asked you, the good people at patreon.com slash blindwave, people that support us, are able to uh, interact in these polls that we put out. Who was it? Rick, think you have it? I, really I do. No. So who do you think Rafa and Trace were talking to at the end of the episode? <clears throat> 3% said Saw Guerrera. Okay. 21% said Rex. Okay. 27% said Ahsoka. Okay. And 31% said Bail Organa. Okay. And I skipped someone else, which was 16%. 16%. Okay, gotcha. Hmm, so <laughs> Bail Organa was the top. Bail Organa was number one. By a little bit. Ahsoka number two. Rex number three. Someone else number four. In the comments, let's we'll see if people were talking about... Uh, Adnan, 1610, went with that someone else. Said, I thought it was Maul. Maul. Darth Maul. Maul. I mean, there is like a loose connection yeah. of them to him. Could they be part of the Shadow Collective or something? They, had, they were dealing with pikes and stuff. Yeah. And mm -hmm. It could be possible that they fell back into something related to that. And he's He was over, what, at the end of Clone Wars, he had, what, three like crime mm -hmm. factions with him there. Yeah, you Black know? Sun, Crimson Dawn, and was it the Pikes? pikes? Must have been the Pikes. Yeah. So, I mean... If they fell into any kind of crime syndicate stuff, it's very possible that they could be leading to him, you know? Yep. Which one does the most laundry gigs? Probably the pikes, because they got all that stuff all over their mouth, and it probably gets on their clothes and stuff, so yeah. you got to clean that stuff up. Yeah. It makes sense. Why do they need head? Study Star Wars more. No. Of robots. <laughs> Oliver McCall says, uh, it's most likely Ahsoka, and them saying him can be explained by her using the fulcrum disguise. We know that in Rebels she did do that. Whenever you would see a hologram of Fulcrum, it was just like a regular hood where we know Ahsoka can't really wear that, you know? She has like a fake disguise, but why would she do that to people that she knows? Mm -hmm. uh, Will says, I can't see it being anyone other than Ahsoka or Rex. I think Ahsoka is the least likely. <clears throat> uh, no. Palpatine? More likely. Jar Jar? More likely. Captain Tarples? I don't know who that is. He died. He's oh dead. We he don't know who he is. Sacrifice! Rick. Damn it, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I cried like two weeks ago watching that episode again. Seth Kara says Boba. Boba Fett. Young Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. Could be a young boy. Hmm. I mean, I guess him or Rex yeah, have a Tom bigger Tom connection Tom. to wanting to know why clones were somewhere or another. Would be interesting to have Bobo and Omega interact. Omega? Yep. Uh, Red Devil Man says, I am convinced it is Bail Organa. Chief Chill says, Hondo! Uh, <laughs> Hondo. Wait, how old is Omega? Is Omega like the age of Boba? Maybe a little younger? I think she's, pr yeah, she'd she's be a probably younger. younger. Girls mature faster you, than boys. Do you think that she... That and she age does age. twice as much. Do you think she ages twice as fast or do you think she ages normally like Boba? I feel like she was probably created after... If she is like something like an amalgamation of Bad Batch or something like that, she's probably created after some of the more prime clones are. Hmm. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Boba Fett was, doesn't have two times speed. I don't know if she does either. If Boba and Omega, like, hooked up, would that be, like, a sibling kind of thing, or would that be okay? Not be okay. No? They have the same genetics. That's what I was wondering. But yeah, like, it's not about siblings. It's about different. genetics. <laughs> you need to go to a different side of the fandom to explore that. <laughs> uh, Sarah Jane says, I pick someone else, and my guess is Mon Mothma. She's uh, always wearing white, and I imagine she started rebelling pretty early on. Yeah, she did. There's actually uh, deleted scenes of her rebelling in episode three, and that's before the Empire even started. Yeah. <laughs> she was just a rebel. It's right when the Empire started. Uh, Dr. Bobcat says, my first thought was Saw, but we've already seen him in the show, so I find it weird that they would not show him if it was Saw. That's a good point. I like that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to look for one different one. One different one. Obi -Wan Someone in there Kenobi. say Mephisto. Oh, could be. You never know. What if it's Obi-Wan Kenobi? Uh, what, end with Josh, who says, Ahsoka makes the most sense. Full Rick. But I'm going Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah, I said Obi-Wan. You did. Uh, you and Josh. Uh, like uh, this. Uh, 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 All right. I'm good. excited to see. Maybe Ridiculous. they won't reveal it this episode. But where does the Bad Batch go next? Maybe you do. Let's find out. Ah, skip the intro. No. We don't need this. 
Ah! Oh. I'm to leave it there. Where are the ships? I'm trying to How tell. Much you were in hyperspace tech? What? I don't think Ruby is that Tuka? Ruby. So we're just still doing missions. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not a Tuka. Fuck! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Watch your. Oh. Watch your head. Oh, it's like a roly poly. <laughs> That's an armadillo. Let them go forward. I hate when they go back. Let them go forward. What are you two up to? It makes the kid happy. Oh, Wrecker. <laughs> Bouncy Castle. Right, you never play video games or something? Ah! Oh, is that Ahsoka? Who is that? That's not Ahsoka. Who is it? Ahsoka. Who is it? They're wearing a great cloak. Is that Ahsoka? It's kind of orangey red. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No. What color was her nose? Their color. What? Me, not for you. If it's a sub, you guys can feel so dumb. Don't do it. Don't do Aw. That's Galaxy's Edge popcorn. Mm -hmm. I've had that. Credits for the Mantel mix. You think it's Rex? I think it's Rex. I don't think it's Ahsoka because the head shape's weird. Uh, and that's the cloak oh, from the hologram, too. You. We call folks around here call them Strider. Now, I like you boys. <laughs> Get out of the way! <laughs> yeah. That looks like clone armor. It's Rex. Rex. Oh, great. Another clone. Where have you been, Rex? That's a long story. <sighs> so cool they got the voice actor to come back. <laughs> Imperial Files have you listed as killed in action. Being dead in the Empire's eyes has its advantages. Well, look who it is. <laughs> you know what I find crazy? Mm. Come here, they Rex. can just recognize Rex right away. Yeah. yeah. See Seems weird. Again. I think they could recognize like than anyone else could. Like a twin can recognize their other twin. But that makes there's only two of them. <laughs> You're a generation one. How'd you know that? From the lines in your face. He's <laughs> older. Yeah, I guess I've been around. I need one of those med patches. Uh, rest and tell them what's up. Nothing. Yep. Yeah, it's just a headache. You haven't removed your chips? No, not yet. <gasps> oh man, he's okay. Rex. He's yeah. serious. Oh, he's he's had a whole threat. Ship of Everyone clones. around you. I've seen what happens when the chip activates, and I don't want to bury any more of our brothers. All right. Trust me. It is not something you can control. Let's do a mission to get him, get him out of there. I couldn't. The animation's so good these days, man. Yeah. We agreed to meet Rex on Bracca. Bracca. All of our heads, actually. Really sweet. It's the first world of Fallen Order. You've played it. I hope the Who's there. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, dude, look at all the. Am I thinking of the wrong narrators? Yeah. <laughs> it's the H U. <laughs> oh. I can't That'd believe be they cool. already trashed these ships. Of course, I guess it could be from the Clone Wars, too. Uh, like, yeah. It might be, like, anything through the war. This is where they junked it. Look at our boy. It's a hammerhead back there. This rocket may not be much to look at, but it has exactly what we need. It's the Scrapper yeah. Guild. The Scrapper Guild. control this entire planet. Holy shit. We need to keep out of sight from their patrols. Dude, Cal Kessis is on this planet right yes, now. Yes, he is. <coughs> a very scared little boy <coughs> right now. <coughs> This is an original Venator class ship. Venator. The first batch off the line. First off the line, huh? Uh oh. What There's a think? giant Sarlacc on this planet. But... Stay above the waterline. Oh, that's so Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this? Well, why? Well, what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, why? <laughs> you guys go without me. Doesn't like heights. His head starts hurting while he's crawling across. He falls into the hole, into the water. This would be a very... But the cable breaks. Oh. Cable breaking. Oh, oh no. falling into the water. Oh, Thank goodness, the cable... Pull him up. Huh. Don't disturb the water. Oh. Uh, what is that? I don't know. Oh, shit. Is that... A, is it... A, what is it? I think he's dying now, guys. Jesus! I don't know. It was a really big one. It shadows the Empire. Well, what it looks like. They're like goldfish, right? They grow however big the containers you have them in. You're telling me if I put a goldfish in the ocean, it's going to be gigantic? Yep. Oh, look at them all! Oh, man, that's so... I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's almost like a raptor. Oh, what's that? 
think Star-Lord kicks. Is this place really going to help him? This is not the kind of place I would want to be operated on in. Let's yeah, get do him first. With. What if they only have enough juice to get rid of like one or two chips? Then do him. <laughs> oh man. What if this is all a fake out and one of one of the other ones turn first while they're doing him? I mean, any of them could turn into like what Crosshair out? did, you know? Yeah. Rex has already had his out. Yeah. Something happens, you go with Rex. Then you go with also, you. you do them one at a time. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh Why fuck. Why is the oh, audio getting all with... away from me? This is the great spot for it, too. We need to speed this up. Very few clones were immune to the effects of Order 66. Don't say it! Damn it. Damn it. Don't say good soldiers follow orders. Don't say it. Someone come over and help. He's going to be so scary. You're in direct violation of Order 66. Shit, man. Wrecker's like the worst one right now. It's like Winter Soldier Wrecker. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, no, he no, stunned Echo. I don't want to be close quarters with this guy. Snap out of it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Strong wolf and resists. Oh, no, Omega. One shot, too. That's Uncle Wrecker, man. Oh gosh, get your foot through there. Fuck. Quick. You're gonna lift that door. Yeah, a mental mix. That dust. Dust looks really good. It's a good scary environment. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Please, stop. I don't want to hurt you. Man, she was getting ready to, but she doesn't want to. But Rika, I'm your friend. Good soldiers follow orders. Oh, God. Shoot him a couple more times. Stun, 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 stun. <laughs> he can take it. I wasn't worried about makeup. I was actually worried about Wrecker. Yeah. He is so big in there. <laughs> <laughs> take this long. Well, why don't you take Omega topside and uh, get some air? No. No. You gotta crawl across that thing again? I'm staying until he wakes up. Get eaten? Uncle Wrecker. They ate popcorn together. Yeah. Blackspire outpost popcorn. Love when the animation does the wipes. It's the making of the movies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's awake! Gandalf. Oh. <laughs> you made it. Man, so they all gotta remove though. Good. And they know how to do it if they get cross her. Oh, I tried to control it. I tried as hard as I could. I just couldn't make it stop. I know, Ricker. <laughs> you had some? Nah. The mission's over. Aww. You can't break tradition. The mission's over is kind of like what Five said. And he died. Yeah. Copy that. I made you the rendezvous by the next rotation. Who's that? Who you talking to? Who's that? I figured you weren't out of the fight just yet. Ah, uh, priorities have shifted. So I've noticed. We're the dad batch now. Omega needs us. Take care, Trooper. So, Foggy. Grab it abide. You know how to reach us. Hmm. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Who's looking? The, the scrappers? scrappers? Probably, go. uh, Fennec. Yep, yeah, Scrapper Girl. Jedi Cruiser. The Ponchos. Alright, I guess maybe like a part two for them. Cool. I liked how the, uh, that, the Scrappers, they have like Cal Kestis' poncho. Like the colors. They, yeah, they just had the Scrapper yeah. colors. Well, that's it. great. I just, you know, because I, you know, that stuff was designed by that game studio, not necessarily Lucasfilm, so they really had to bring them, make those assets and bring them over, you know? I'm glad they did that. It's a cool, cool, cool connection. Yeah. <sighs> and it makes I'm, sense too. Yeah. You know? It's not like it was shoehorned in there. No, so they need to find something that like Rex knows where to go. He knows what worked. And he's not a medical expert, so he, he goes to that one spot. Yep. <laughs> Gotta find sure. one of those <clears throat> venators or so it worked. Yeah, Vander. It worked for him. I'm glad we went through getting the chips out. I was curious on how that was gonna play out or you know, if it was going to be something where we slowly lose people or, sure. or what, you know, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, no, as we've gone through the season, I've kind of had the theory that, like, I think we're going to be able to handle it with all our, our guys, and that's going to set up, oh, we're going to be able to do it with the crosshair, and then either something goes wrong in the removal, or you just can't get him there, or even if you do it, he still chooses the other way, you know? Well, the thing is, I wonder if the longer the chip is active the harder it is to remove, like sure. the more ingrained it is, yeah. or if it starts rewriting the neurons or something. Yeah, I get what you mean. Hmm. If it's active too long. 
then just, you know, I, I, maybe it could be interesting. I wonder who Rex was talking to, if it was just Ahsoka or something else, like what he's doing. Because you know about others being out there. <clears throat> like at this point, I don't know if he's found Wolf yeah. or Gregor yeah. or anything. You know, like we still we saw them in Rebels, but like where do they yeah. fit in? And if that's the case, then they would have had like did he catch them after Order sixty six and they've been affected, mm-hmm. or did he get to them like they should have activated, right? I think I don't have. know. Like we don't we know that they got theirs cut out. They had the scar or whatever, but I he hasn't done it to them yet. I'm assuming that he hasn't met them because if he had. He wouldn't, you know, he would have been the same here. Like, I got to go get him out now. Sure. And he but, said yeah, that this is the first time he's been he on this side. He said this is the, yeah, this is the first time he's been on this side of it. So yeah. he hasn't met and done that with any of the other clones yet. I just wonder what happens with those two. Like, Gregor might not have activated maybe because he was off by himself, but I don't yeah. know if it will activate without it actually getting, like, a communication or anything. You know, same thing with, like, Cut. Yeah. Like, I imagine Cut had one, mm-hmm. but he didn't seem to be... No. Anything you know? Sure. So, I mean, we know that there is a certain amount of will, like a strong will, can resist it a bit. I mean, Rex was resisting. Yeah. Sure. But that was his will that he got from Anakin, pretty much. You know. Yeah. Also, he knew the fives thing, so that's kind of like he has that like almost secret knowledge, and that like gives him a little bit of a yeah. break. You well, know? and even with all that, he still it, he didn't beat it. No. You know? Yeah. He did. It was nothing like that. But cut Lorraine or whatever is now. I think it's Lorraine. Uh, he has a big will. I mean, he deserted the whole club, so maybe I don't know. So I don't know. I'm confu- I'm curious on how those if, if if those will come in or does Bad Batch find them and that's yeah who helps you know Wolf or Gregor or anything or I don't know. I just I'm I'm curious if we'll fill in those little pieces there because I don't think that they're in. I mean, they might be. I don't think I've ever heard of it, like, comic-wise story of what they've done with them in the past. But I just know that they're yeah. there in Rebels. So, like, sure. w- w- will we fill in those yeah. gaps of those characters at all, or will we just kind of let it go? And yeah. That's where they end Like, up there's really. an entire Ahsoka <clears throat> novel that takes place yeah. after, you know, it was before there she is. showed back up in 7. It, or whatever, touches, it touches in Season 7 and talks about Darth Maul and the mm-hmm. fight and that kind of stuff, too, but it goes a little past it. Um, so, I mean, you know, he's just talking about these people. I, I like that it's a mystery and that we can slowly build there because, I mean, even when we get to Rebels, which is years and years later, they're not fully formed, you know? So, anyway. Um, I like how Omega was able to identify that he was a first gen yeah. by the lines on his face. Yep. <clears throat> and he had, like, a moment of introspection when he's looking at his helmet. Like, I was like, well, what's the significance of him, like, staring at his helmet? Is it, you know, we've, we've talked about, like, in Rebels, how he thought about his service or whatever, and how he wants to keep defending the Republic, but in that helmet, he's using Gen 1's visor, which is, like, wrinkles in his helmet, as opposed to his yeah. face, you know? Because he just cuts that thing, he's like, I like this visor more, he cuts it out, puts it in the new helmet. But no, I, I enjoyed that, too. At first, I was, like, she had a look where I was like, what's she gonna, she gonna be like, say something she shouldn't know, you know? But it didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't feel like a like a force thing or anything. It just felt yeah. like she was just looking at a clone and having been on Camino, probably seen tons of clones. Maybe she just recognizes like, oh, this one is obviously an older yeah. one, so it's Gen One. Mm-hmm. So it was like an assumption she made, basically based on what she knew from Camino. Yeah, I felt like we had a couple Lord of the Rings references this time. Like last time, I felt like we had Hitchcock. This time, yeah. I felt like we had Lord of the Rings. We had Strider in the bar. We yeah. had the octopus. The style Watcher monster. in the water. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, Dave Filoni is a gigantic Tolkien fan, and it wouldn't be the first time that he had done multiple, multiple Lord of the Rings references. Yeah. But no, the uh, the monster, like, it's, I think it's too big to be a Dinaga. I mean, they could get bigger, I, I suppose, but they, so. they have seven tentacles, and I felt like there was more than seven. I feel like if it was a Dinaga, we would have at least seen the eye stalk, and we never saw the yeah. eye stalk. So and, I don't think it's that. Yeah. It could be some kind of weird water sarlacc monster. But I feel like it might be just something else. Yeah, it's just something else. What was the thing in Mandalorian that had all the tentacles? The thing um, all oh, in the boat. Yeah, it was on uh, not Mon Cal, but whatever that planet that all the Corrin and Mon Cal were on. Hmm. I don't think we ever got an answer what that was either. No, yeah, it could, it could be the same it thing. Been that. Yeah, because it was quite large. It was mm-hmm. like Kraken. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what it was. And also, it like ate. 
Grogu's thing and then spit it back out. So that thing had like a mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To put it in, spit it out. Mm-hmm. That could have been it. It looked to me most like almost like a Rastar. It wasn't, but it, like in terms of like a canon thing that I think it looks the most like, especially with the circular mouth and teeth yeah. thing. I think it had less teeth though. It probably did. I think yeah. the Rathars had like more. Teeth. Oh yeah, and their their mouth is like way bigger. Yes, yeah. their what, what mouth is the... like the shark from James and the Giant Peach. Yeah, you know what I mean. They do have twelve it's tentacles like... though, so they might <laughs> match more. What was the thing that Han was transporting? That's a rat. That's the, yeah. that, okay, yeah, yeah, the giant meatball with tentacles, and then, yeah, and then it has like the shark mouth that's just like a big old circle, bunch of teeth in. How'd you get him on the ship? You used to have more crew. It's <laughs> <laughs> horrible. Well, it was cool to get, uh, we got the answer next episode on Rex being contacted by Trace and Rafa. Yeah, where, that, it was that cloak, too. Where it wasn't a long, you know, it wasn't like, oh, man, it's a mystery Makes a lot for of a sense. long time. It's just the next time that we got the answer. So, yeah, I like that we got that fairly quickly and just being able to get Rex. Because I've been wondering if Rex was going to show up. They mentioned him in, like, episode two or something, mm-hmm. being like, oh, Rex was still here. I believe we saw him in a trailer at some point, but that, that shot was It might have been the here. Bracca yeah. shot here. Where they were up on like yeah. destroyed ships, but back then it's just like oh, destroyed ships could be anywhere. Anywhere, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't feel like we've had like I feel like the trailers we saw for the most part like we've seen everything that has occurred in those mm-hmm. trailers. So I'm very excited to see what goes forward with things. I think a lot of it was from just the first episode, yeah. Most of the trailer, which I like when they do that. How much more do we have left? I don't, know. Uh, I don't even I, think we're halfway yet. I believe there are like 16 episodes in this season, oh, so okay. we have a lot left. We'll see Brock again, I was, I'm assuming. Maybe. Like, I, it feels <clears throat> like they'll, they'll like getting ready to leave Brock and it's going to happen. My you know? question is, is Bad Batch going to be more like Clone Wars yeah. or more like WandaVision? Where like, it's a story we want to tell, it's going to be this many episodes, and then we're done once we're done with it? Yeah, I could be mean. Or will it be something where like, season two of Bad Batch will be coming out here in another year or something? No. Well, I, I guess also... it just depends on how much they want to fill in and not leave up to later stories to tell. Sure. Yeah, because I don't feel like Wanda's story's over. Well, no, but Wanda, I don't picture a WandaVision season two. <coughs> sure, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, I felt like that was a story they wanted to tell. It was tell, designed for one season. And it's done. But, like, it's Bad Batch. Like, are we going to go until we see what ultimately happens to Bad Batch? Is that going to be, so they're going to have several seasons kind of leading I'm gonna through? I'm going to say it's several you know? seasons that... Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not like the network's going to cancel them. <laughs> sure. I mean, I hope not. Yeah. Like, Clone Wars eventually made it to the end of the Clone Wars. Yeah. Yeah. Though it didn't initially. So, and it didn't need to do all the stuff it wanted to do. Yeah. So, like, like well, Bad, Bad Batch has the opportunity to do whatever it wants yeah, to do. Bad Batch, you uh-huh. keep going until, like, here is the end of the story of Bad Batch. Yeah. Or do you go until, like, well, we're done with this, but you might see Bad Batch show up in this series yeah. or whatever, you know? Like, what if you get the Obi Wan series and Bad Batch shows up in that? You're like a live action Bad Batch. Yeah. You're like The Rock and. Who do you get to play? Jason Momoa. And. <laughs> you're like, The Rock being Wrecker would be cool. No, man. Just you get Tamir Morrison to do it all. Batista? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to think of like. Uh, Batista might be what a is better Wrecker. Uh, New Zealand, it's... right? Like, Jason Momoa's from New Zealand, isn't he? Uh, he's Samoan. Is he Samoan? Okay. Yeah. The Rock is Samoan too, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Dang. I don't know more. I need you more know New who Zealand we people. never see or get referenced? In episode two, there's Daniel Logan playing the youngest Boba Fett. Tamir Morrison plays the oldest, or both. the youngest clones. Tamir mm-hmm. Morrison plays the oldest clones. There's another guy in there that's like teenage slash like twenties clones. We never ever reference him. I can't remember what his name is, but like we never. I do never, not know never, what his name they, is, Eric. I you know remember. all kinds of shit. I know, but I've never looked it up. <laughs> and like they never like made a model to look like make clones look like that guy. It's like Daniel Logan. Or Tamir Morrison, that's it. What about that guy? Get that guy to be well, like that. That was in episode batch. two, right? Yeah, that's they an episode showed two. Like yeah. a yeah. teenage version. Yeah. Well, he was like, I don't know. He to me, he looked like he was like twenty one, twenty two. I would say maybe even older, but I don't know. They never. I mean, that guy's never been used. Poor guy. Yeah, I don't know. I was in Star Wars. Who were you? Uh, if he ages <laughs> twice as fast, he probably is a teenager. Yeah. I don't know. Who would be a good live action bad guy? I mean, the Kurt toys Russell. all look like Tamara Morrison, which I love. <laughs> well, sure, but I, he can't play all of them. He can't? He can't. Dude, Bradley Baker does it. That's different. It's not. It is. <laughs> it's technically, he can play all those characters. He could play them if they were all old. Sure. Yeah. He could do the voice of them, I guess. He could do the when they take their helmets off. What do you mean? 
Like, you take the helmet off, you do a close-up, it's Mira Morrison and makeup. You put it on, then you have fucking The Rock out there, you know? I'm just saying, like, you have him be Wrecker? Like, I don't know. Yeah, but needs to be Wrecker, I think. Not The Rock. Rock's too charismatic. No, just know. have him be... I'd love to see The Rock play as Wrecker. It would... I think it'd be great. I mean, if it happened, I, w- I wouldn't be like, this is fucking bullshit, but I would... I, I like that they took the... The model that they have for the clones, and then just shift it around. So I would want the same thing. I would want Tamir, someone that looks like exactly like Tamir Morrison, but shift it. You know. You just need to cast, um, not triplets, but five. Quintuplets. Quintuplets. Yeah. Because you need a. I want to call him long shot, but that's not crosshair. It. A crosshair, crosshair too. Forgetting his name too. I don't know what's wrong with me. Crosshair. Yeah. I haven't yet this video, but last video I think I did. I'd want it to be Tamir Morrison, but who knows if that's going to be a thing. I think it's more likely that we'd get, like, Omega in something else. They just look so different from other clones, though. Hmm. Just all the, all the Bad Batch. I mean, they were mutated. Echo is the only one who looks like the rest of them. Echo should be played by Tamir Morrison. I mean, if you take, like, Wrecker's face... But he's also and, really and old. just, now. like, warp it, you'll get the clone face. He's too old now. Who? Tamir Morrison. He can be. He's too old to play Boba Fett. And we do no, that. he's fine for Boba. Boba's old. Boba's like <clears throat> late thirties, early forties. No. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I mean, the saving grace is that he got partially digested. He looks all fucked up. Sure. Know? Yeah. He's he's gone through some shit. Okay. Yeah. He worked a hard life. But <laughs> like, if you do ba- if you do the live action Bad Batch before Episode Four, it can't be Tamir Morrison. I don't think. I think he's too old. Too old to be getting the training. Probably. Um, I did like. I don't know if it was a direct reference or not, but you know, uh, Fives goes through his thing with with the the chip, and then as he's dying, he's like, "The mission's over." Like he has a sense of relief that in death he's not have to deal with this thing, you know. Um, and Omega said the same thing, like the mission's over. But I think that she would just be more like, you know, buddy buddy with him in that way. So I don't know if it was a direct reference, but I enjoyed that the line was in there. These characters, or at least the, the characters we saw in that scene, wouldn't have no. knowledge of that. I meant, like, uh, writing-wise, is it a reference or not, you know? I don't know. Because since that the, one was played very, like... Since the first episode, they've had that thing where Wrecker has always had the tradition, once the mission's over... Sure. You know, you want yeah. me to do the scratches on the wall? You know, he does that. <laughs> yeah. He has the, the mix, whatever it is. Yeah, what'd they call it? Mantel mix? Something like that. At a Galaxy's Edge, mix. on Batu, they have like, here's the sweet and spicy mix. Here's like, there's like a green colored one. There's a blue colored one. So, but it comes in that square box. Yeah, that's how I, I actually I didn't. I don't think I got that. I'm not usually a popcorn guy, but I saw people getting it. I got the, like I got the Ronto wrap and the milk. I'm not usually Bottom a popcorn milk. guy. Why not? I don't know. I'm not a popcorn guy either. <gasps> not normally. There's, it's too but, sharp. The kernels too I mean, much chance I to find go wrong. The only thing I love about what? popcorn is just salt and butter. You know? Yeah, <laughs> and I can wait, eat that without the popcorn. Wait, wait, what does Rick mean? There's too much of a chance of things going wrong. What yeah, does that mean? you get you get the stupid kernels like in between your gums. Yeah, that's it fucks up your mouth for a week. Yeah, but you eat nachos that could bad. like do the same thing. Or I don't want to eat nachos burritos. either. If I do eat nachos, it's the kind of Eric likes where they're partially stale. Yeah, partially stale. Partially Cheese stale. Is too hot. Oh, it's so good. A little bit. That's like. Why do you want nachos with all these slightly wrong things? Because it's <laughs> because it makes it better. It's the same reason why pizza is better the next day. It's never p- better the next day. Pizza is always better it's the so, next day. No, no. Yes, if you do I it right. Some pizza <laughs> is definitely You're right. it's better some. the next day. Some what. pizza I'll get. Just looking forward to the next day. Yeah. <laughs> there's some pizza that I think, like, it's only good the day you get it. Yeah. Like, there's some, yeah. Well, I would say that's good. Uh, Papa John's, uh, definitely. I Papa feel John's like. is definitely like that. Yeah, but also, it dries out really quick. Is it ever really good to begin with? I mean, Papa John's, yeah. It's fine. It'd be good. I think, Depends on honestly, I think Doughboy's so is one of those expensive. that, like, Little Caesars will last a day or two. I agree. Doughboy's, though, I think if you... if you, no, you need to eat that now. You can't, you can't let it sit. Uh, but you can do good. East Chicago and Pizza Hut. I feel like it's pretty good next day. I think it's because they're thicker. I think Smitty's is well, good next oil. day. Yeah, I think it's what it is. It's the oil. Yeah. Smitty's, Smitty's, I think Smitty's, Smitty's is, good is probably day. fine. It's all oil. It's the oil, right? I don't like yeah. Smitty's. The, the Doughboys is very oily too I, sometimes, but it's good. But it just doesn't. I don't know. That's that one piece I think of pizza Smitty's, slice like was it like curls up. Oh yeah, that was like four days old. It gets dry and it really looked quick. like it had been 
I don't right, know. No. You gotta eat that first. So, <laughs> so for our that. pizza review that we do, we also have to do it the next day too. Yeah. So we all get we get one large pizza. Yeah. That's eight pieces. We yeah. all get one piece. Oh, wow. And Talk then we it. wait. We all get one for piece. The next day. Eric, we're eating like ten pizzas. Okay. <laughs> you can <laughs> order one or two for yourself. No, you gotta you gotta ration yourself because we're gonna get like ten different pizzas from ten places. I know what I'm thinking. And I'll eat one. That's that's still ten slices of pizza. And then yeah. you gotta save it the next day. And then we gotta do the next day review. With ten more pieces of pizza, that's been a day old. Do we include like frozen the, the, pizzas in this, like the, a DiGiorno? The question there is like a, a base standard. standard. No, I think the question though with the pizza is, I don't know, is it refrigerated or do you leave it on the counter? Because I've done both for the next for next day pizzas. We're gonna go with I'm, the standard. I'm gonna, of... I'm gonna veto <laughs> that counter shit. <laughs> that's why you don't like it the next day. It's rotten. <laughs> Gives you food poisoning. Oh, man. Uh, I also, getting back to the Bad Batch, um, I really liked the way they animated Rex's face for the emoting of talking about how, yeah, I don't want to bury any more brothers. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so recent for us that we just saw him bury an entire ship's worth. You yeah, know? sure. Dude, um, him going for his gun there as soon as he knows that yeah, they have yeah. the inhibitor That's chips. how scared he is, you know? I like how Rex and Hunter at the end, uh, Rex was saying to him, I was going to say that to you. Yeah. I imagine that must happen all the time with the clones. With the clones? Yeah. I still find it interesting that they see Rex and just his face and they can be like, oh, Rex. Well, they saw his armor, too. I suppose that might so, be it. Like, there might have been more things. But, like, there's differences with, like, Jesse and Hardcase. And a lot of them have, like, tattoos. different hairstyles or different tattoos and stuff. I mean, you're Rex also has to have scars. You're also me. living with them. That's you know, you're with the five oh first. That's who you're with. So they you know who looks different and all that. But whenever you're with them and then you see just a random clone yeah. sometime, you know, and when all this shit's happened, you're like, Hey Rex. I'm like, dang man, they recognize him right away. He I looks mean, like also a probably other people. I, well, one of the most recognizable clone captains. He also wasn't right away attacking them maybe. It's yeah. also how he holds himself and how he maybe and he's a first generation there's not a lot of first generation clones left regardless of what platoon they're in true maybe I just imagine the clones are also especially good at identifying other clones I suppose you know like they just do that all the time they can you know it's like sometimes uh no never mind. I want another clone to capture Rex put on his armor and then show up and then be like oh Rex I'm like ha ha I told you yeah (laughs) They, they can't tell the difference they just assumed (laughs) <laughs> I mean, great. in Naruto, they can <laughs> tell when it looks exactly like the person. Still, yep. The what? We don't. When they do the the jutsu that makes it look like Naruto, and then it's like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna spell my name in P." <laughs> <laughs> that was just a, that was I know it's not you. Bam! Stab him. That's a that's a guess. Um, yeah, probably was. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? It's like you didn't do this. That's what Naruto would do. <laughs> okay. Spell my name in P. Uh, the beginning, I. Uh, with those uh, Rokai ships or whatever. I just didn't recognize them. I didn't know yeah. if that was like, was that know. a new model? Was that pulled from somewhere? I don't know. I didn't recognize them at all. They must look like little phantoms, but not. I don't know. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know what they were. I don't know what that lizard is either. They looked really small. I thought they were like like drone Maybe. attack yeah. ships. Did they name the lizard? Uh, Ruby's the name of the lizard. No, not, not name its name. actual name. No. <laughs> no. You mean what Sid kind was of just like, that's a yeah. weird looking lizard. It was like, uh, what are those called? Not an armadillo, mm-hmm. the other one. A, oh. pang- a pangolin. Like the one that, like, it has, spends a lot of his time, it has like. scales, not plates. Yeah, but Isn't it, like, it walks on its back feet, doesn't no. it? Like, like, well, sometimes you see this thing run. They, like, like. Yeah, they look like little dinosaurs sometimes. Also, so do, like, uh, armadillos as yeah. well. They, like, stand up and, like. Uh, the, the pangolin or whatever has that huge tail. Yeah. yeah, it's like a, it's like an armored beaver. Yeah, kind of. The pangolin. I think that's how you say it, or that's how Ben <clears throat> Cumberbatch does it. Beaver. <laughs> it's talking about penguins, though. This thing's ugly as hell. Yeah, I yeah, it's like that. It's not ugly. Well, look at it. But it's that's got like cute. It's got Maybe like it's overlapping ugly styles. Side. Yeah, you should turn it around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's check out some Q and A's over at Twitter. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with Adam, who says, I love seeing Bracca connecting to Jedi Fallen Order. I'm pretty sure. sure that those rats were, like, smaller versions of the ones in the game, too. Uh, oh. Were those hmm. rats from Bracca? I know those rats were on... They weren't on Bracca. They the were on the planet. next planet. Yeah. Or not, or two planets from there. Zepho. 
I don't yes. know if they. I don't know if they're um, are they Umbraka? I can't were. remember. I thought these were just like Wamprats, maybe or something like that. Yeah. But what's a Wamprat? Bronca is. Well, I mean, there, there's goats showed up everywhere too. Oh, fucking goats. I guess. Goats. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they just look like? Wamprats are two meters wide, Aaron. I mean, they can be. But like, didn't they just kind of look like those? They could be. They looked a little less furry. I, I mean, that's a Tatooine one. They'll say, like, all of those look very different to me. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, look at these womp rats. These yeah. womp rats look more like kangaroos. Yeah. You know? But then there's these womp rats. Those look like a hyena. Well, the, that was a picture Actually, asking no. what that... this was. It... Which one is the canon womp rat? <laughs> like, look at all these different womp rats. The one that's looks a hyena. Like General Black <laughs> from Battletoads. All right, uh, we're going to go with Riley, who says, Wow, that episode was amazing and the best uh, so far, in my opinion. I, actually, I think I like this one the most other than the, the first episode. I really like this one. Uh, it was good to get like their mm -hmm. inhibitor chips and stuff out. Yeah. Do you think Omega has an inhibitor chip that hasn't activated yet? Or does she not have one because she is so much different from the clones? She said she didn't have one. She did say that. I'm gonna go with she doesn't have one because I imagine that Rex being how he is would have like double checked or yeah. something. Yeah. You know? I would say that since she's not a combat clone, that she wouldn't have one in. Yeah. Because there if... there'd be no reason for her not being near Jedi. True. Yeah. What if her purpose is like she's a remote control for all of them with an inhibitor chip? Ooh. So it's not just what the inhibitor chip. What? It's not just Order sixty six, but she could like control. All she can that. hack that chip. She can do a new order. Yeah. Yeah. Order sixty seven. Sixty. Yeah. What, Eric? Nothing. Uh, Prince of the Word over Salmon says nothing more terrifying than a mind controlled barbarian. Since the rest of the Bad Batch had their chips removed, do you guys think the chances of Crosshair turning back have greatly diminished, or is still possible? I think now they have a goal to work towards, and they know that it works. Yeah. I think they'll try to like they bait know. him out and well, capture and the, him. The good news is I think Crosshairs is coming here, because yeah. they're calling the Empire. Yeah. True. Yeah, but if they just... Scrappers. Get the fuck out! Scrappers did that in Jeff Home War 2. I mean, ideally, they like knock right. him out here, take him over to that ship, and get rid of his chip. It's a perfect time. Maybe. But what if he comes with like other troopers, and they got to fight a whole bunch of well, you stuff? You kill them first, obviously. You know? You start getting into much more of, like, what Ahsoka got to deal with. But she was a Jedi, <laughs> you know, yeah. with some robot reinforcements. <laughs> and I do agree about the terrifying barbarian. I really like that sequence. I like the setting. I like the way they were lighting and dust. Um, but also mm -hmm. just, he's Uncle Wrecker, and he's happy, and seeing him like that was not fun. So it's and like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that Omega doesn't seem like it's even, it, 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 like, mess with her too much. You know? Sure. Yeah. She understood. I just like the little touch of him knocking that blaster out the window. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I liked whenever uh, Tech was going with the thing, he's like, <gasps> Yeah. You know, and just looked up and. <laughs> Good soldiers follow orders. I mean, it makes you think, too, because we talked about this in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Whenever the Winter Soldier is out, he is way more bloodthirsty, and or not blood. Well, I mean, he's just way more effective. He's better because he's not thinking about. He's not restricting protecting himself. people or, or anything or, or hurting anyone. No, no, this sure. Wrecker, you know, can be like more effective that way. You know, you think Wrecker would have been more or less scary if he had put his helmet on? Probably, I mean, I don't he know. did have. There's his helmet something on. about like they emphasize a lot more his scar and, and white eye side. You know, and just like we've always seen him so happy with a goofy look on his face. So when he's serious and scary, it's almost worse. I don't know. What do you think? Well, like Jason and Michael Myers are always scarier. Because you can't see their face. True. But yeah. his helmet has a lot more character than those masks do. Yeah. So I don't know. Whereas that like is more blank and you can't see anything. Yeah. There's no character there. The shade, you know. Mm -hmm. I think it might be creepier if his helmet's off and he's not showing any expression. I think it'd be creepy if his helmet was on but backwards. I think it would have been creepier if he had cut off Hunter's face and worn it. All right, you win. I think it would have been creepier if you cut off Omega's <laughs> face and worn it. Damn, Cal, you've fit. gone too far. It wouldn't have fit. It would have been creepier. It would have been hilarious. You would have, you would have seen his face underneath of it and made it worse. Uh, Jacob says, knowing where we are in terms of location and timeline, do you think we'll see the young former Padawan at all? Or do you think they uh, were already found by the guild? Try to remain vague to avoid spoiling other people who might follow you. Um, I it, don't know. It would make sense yeah. that... They have their chips removed now, so mm -hmm. they could interact with them yeah. and not kill them. 
yes. try to kill them. Yeah, uh, seeing Cal or not, I wouldn't want him to be necessarily featured. It would be cool to have, like, a... You think that kid there might be Cal? Like, you know, yeah. see a kid in a poncho? <laughs> a kid in a poncho? Yeah. Do you think he's in a poncho right now? He's only wearing ponchos. <laughs> At, it's true. How old is he? He never doesn't wear a poncho. Twelve. I'm 12, a poncho. 11. I'm a poncho gang. I love ponchos. I love his poncho. I hated a poncho. A lot of people hate his poncho. I hated him. I love it. I never wore ponchos. Mm. I just wore good outfits. <laughs> Man, fuck you. <laughs> I don't see you wearing no poncho. I can't find one big enough. <laughs> when? Man, Qui Gon <laughs> wore poncho. Luke wore poncho. Anakin wore poncho. Clint Eastwood. Silka wore poncho. Yeah, fucking Clint Eastwood. When did Luke wear poncho? Well, it was cut out. But we mean it was cut out. <laughs> Episode four. He has the hat, the poncho, and the long gun. He's not. He doesn't have one in there. He 100 percent does. I'm going to get a match figure right now. In the movie, he wears a no, poncho. I said it was cut. In exactly. Episode, <laughs> he wears a poncho in episode six. Eh. On Endor. It's a cloak. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yes, Leia. Han had a trench coat, but still. Oh no! Is that a poncho? That's a poncho. That's a poncho. Calvin's 100 percent right. You and I am shamed. I'm never agree with that. No, I do right now. <laughs> poncho gang, baby. Okay. I wore the pink poncho. All right, we're all gonna get a poncho. I'm gonna wear a poncho. Yeah, I'm look the next best. bad batch. Fuck you. All right, you look the best. <laughs> With spangles. <laughs> uh, Gina said, "Holy hell, did we see the bad batch fight off a Dionaga in Bracca? If they're still on Bracca next episode, do you think we'll see Cal Kestis? Uh I don't think it was a Dionaga, <coughs> but it was a cool sequence. Uh, seeing it like you know." Under the water. Under the water, yeah. Yeah. Epic Trev says, now that the Scrappers have contacted the Empire, there's a high possibility they'll send Crosshair. But there's also Fennec Shand still hunting them, and she could be listening to Imperial Communications. Question sure. is, if she is listening, who gets there first? Crosshair or Fennec? Mm. I thought it was Fennec looking through the binoculars in the first place. Oh, yeah, you did. I, I think she's <laughs> on her way there now. If they're calling the Imperials, I'm going to say Crosshair gets there first. We already dealt with Finnick. We haven't dealt with Crosshair in a while. We haven't seen Crosshair in a while. Maybe they I was, get there at the same time, and those two have to fight. I was really hoping that with Bad Batch and having Crosshair staying with the Imperials, that we might follow him a little bit more mm-hmm. and kind of get in a better feel and idea of what the Imperials are doing doing during this time because mm-hmm. we haven't really had that. And I'd be curious on like, you know, what is Tarkin doing, or you know, does the Emperor have anything else that he wants them to do, or yeah, when are they decommissioning clones? Have they done that yet already? Would Kalis be an ensign at this point? Who? Commander Callus? Oh, Callus? The Munchops. Munchops? Yeah. 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 Um, I, I would know. say so. Yeah. Ensign. Maybe we'll get an episode where we see what Crosshair's been up to and get a good feel. But I, yeah, I mean, we still got 16. It's not very often total. that you get to see the, the bad guy side, I feel mm-hmm. like. You know? Yeah. Even, even some games that cover, like, oh, you're going to be on the Imperial side, like uh, Battlefront did. Yeah. They kind of switched over to the rebellion you very fairly early. quick, yeah. and it's like, well, dang, I really want to. Like, yeah. sure, it sucks being the bad guy. I like that Star Wars uh, Squadrons. At least you played bad guys and you played good guys, and there wasn't really a, like we better defect kind of thing or nothing. Star Wars Tie Fighter, man. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, like it's, I don't know if it's like Still the best. they don't want to do that because they want you to play good guys and stuff. Yeah. But sometimes playing the bad guys, it can give some good storylines and stuff, or. You know, you could have the person you play might have doubts, but the other people you see don't, and you can mm-hmm. understand why people feel the way they do and stuff. And yep. I love having the compelling bad guy side. Uh, Sammy says, since Echo had virtually no reaction to Rex's mention of Fives, do you think that means that the Techno Union erased his memories of them together? Do you think they're going to mention Fives in this regard again later? Um, I mean... Echo had no memory of Fives? Well, he just didn't really react to it. You figured they would because they were both Dominus Squad, hmm. uh, you know, members or whatever. But I, I imagine that it's, you know, it's, maybe. I mean, I didn't really feel like anything was missing from there. But I don't, I wouldn't assume that means that, that he's erased any memories or anything. Sure. So, I don't know. Oliver McCall says, since uh, Hunter tells Rex to call them whenever he's in a bind, but never asks him for help again. Do you think this means that the squad won't survive? Uh, like, and later, like, we've seen Rex and Rebels, and they've been at a bind. It's not like he's called the Bad Batch there. Sure, I get what you Okay. You know? I mean, they could be dead by then. Yeah. yeah that's, Does that mean yeah. they won't survive? I mean, Rex is. I mean, Rex is much older yeah. there. Mm-hmm. But he eight double ages, but. He does. Yeah, I don't know. I think. Still, their mutations. I help. think you easily can get them getting, like, helping Rex, you know, especially if we have, like, some series, like, seasons of Bad Batch. Yeah. But. At that point, I, I imagine, given that we don't see them come episode four, mm-hmm. you know, like, they must die before that at some yeah. point. Like, there's, like, no clones by then, you know? Like, you don't see, like, anybody there. 
Jonathan, Boba. yeah. Jonathan T. Miles says, "Pangolins in space." What Earth creature would you like to see get Damn. Star Wars treatment? What? <laughs> they caught him. They caught him pangolins. Yeah. <laughs> so, what Earth creature would you like to see get the Star Wars treatment? Uh, the platypus. Yeah. I was gonna say otter. Otter. I think a platypus is already a Star Wars creature. Probably. You know, yeah. like what the hell is that thing? Yeah. It's duck and <laughs> a mammal. <laughs> you it's know, like an Egyptian thing. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Head of a man. Body of a lion. <laughs> yeah. Bill of a duck. <laughs> Dragonfly. Dragonflies. Uh, we had dragonflies, didn't we? We have the can cells in the Clone Wars movie. They're dragonflies. So what about you, Eric? Rick is so correct, it's already happened. Um, I'd like to see... A snake. We have snakes. I'm Pod. ready for my <laughs> leftovers! Yeah, I thought I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> And there's one that that big snake episode nine too. Um, what is, I don't know. What's the woman in Solo? The the leader of the like she's like a giant worm yeah. caterpillar thing. They're called uh, Grindelid, I think is what the name of their species. But yeah, uh, Lady Proxima. Yeah, like she's like a like a vampire she snake she's lady. Crazy. Yeah. And then, I don't know. Job is like a giant slug. I mean, everything I'm thinking of, I can already I can think of like an elephant, panther, you know, like. But it's not an elephant. It has a tr- trunk. Yeah, a moose. It's just a moose. really big, we'll see a big giant moose. A panther is just an elephant-sized yak. It's pretty much all it is. They were played Do by yaks elephants. have like yes, but it's like not that. an elephant. It's like an elephant-sized not yak. Curly horns. Yeah. They have like mm-hmm. typical cow horns. Diego Chavez says, "With the return of Rex, is it possible that we see Commander Cody as we never really saw him after the events of Episode Six? I would actually really enjoy to see Cody." Because, you know, Rex is like, oh, so I can't shoot a circle, no. And then, you know, we have Wrecker, like, I'm trying to stop her. Cody's just like, open fire. <laughs> yeah. Shoot oh, damn, I gave him his lightsaber back. <laughs> fuck. Shoot him down. And his little creature, too. You know? Cody doesn't give a fuck. It's not his fault. He's a good guy. But still. He didn't fight it at all. I'd like to see him more, you know. Couldn't fight it at all. Else. Can't fight, won't fight. Obi-Wan. Mess it up. I think he died. <laughs> All right, that was the last Q and A. We need a poll for this episode. Would you eat mantel mix? I, I would. You just eat, you're eat. like popcorn. <laughs> I'd eat it though. <laughs> I, I eat popcorn. <laughs> I eat things I don't like. I love that. No, I would eat it, eat it too. It's like it's like caramel popcorn with food coloring, right? Mm-hmm. Sure. With like spices. Yeah, and but shit what if it's that? caramel popcorn and cheese popcorn and butter popcorn, like all mixed together? I hate that. Then I eat one type at a time. Right? I hate the people that mix them together. Yeah, they take out the little hate the people. I just try divider. Fuck those I people. I fucking hate that. We need a poll. If you do that, you're... An... Okay. If we're, you cutting, take we're cutting all this out. We need a poll. No, no, this is the poll, Eric. It's important. Do you if you eat take the, the divider out of, you... of the big can of popcorn, are you a monster? <laughs> are you a monster? <laughs> Ah, real monsters. <laughs> well, our, our question revolves around the Mantel mix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, pull this episode. We're uh, on Bracca. Well, do we continue to be on Bracca? And if so, will we see Cal Kestis in some type of cameo form? Or, I don't know, featured? Uh, whatever. Do we get a glimpse of that poncho redhead little crying boy? No. Uh, crying was... boy? Crying. Oh. He's very... Wouldn't you like to know, crime boy? Crime <laughs> male. Uh, Uncle, yeah, yeah, we can see him. You know what's what's gonna happen? It's just gonna be a random person in the background with have, red hair. Yeah, we have no and idea if it is or not. Ah! It's him! It's him! <laughs> you can't prove me wrong. <laughs> so I say, yeah. If that one guy in the Phantom Menace is fucking Quinlan Vos, which apparently it is, then that could be Cal Kestis. Yeah, he, he could happen. But it wasn't. Wasn't his story based on that guy in that? Yeah, no, but it's still weird. What do you mean it's weird? Doesn't look like him. I'll say yes. <laughs> Isn't he developed from that guy? Yeah. No. I'm gonna say yes. All right. Well, that's what we say. We want to hear what you have to say. Is that something that you want? Is it something that you hope for? Is it something you despise and don't want to see? I hate that game. It's too hard. Fucking goats. Patreon.com. Fuck blindly. What's with you and the goats? And fucking thank you for watching this act uh, this reaction to the Bad Batch. If you want to see everything else that we do, we have links down in the description where you can watch full length and early access to all of our other reactions. 
So make sure you check those out. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah.